Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day. I wanted to do a first impression review today. I know I don't normally do that, but I'm a gadgety person and I love my gadgets. And I actually got this this week at Walmart. And what this is, is this is an as seen on TV, which will get me every time, by Copper Chef. It is the perfect egg maker. You can do hard boiled eggs, you can do an omelet, and scrambled eggs or something like that. So, oh, those are poached eggs. So we're gonna test this today and see how well it works. My mom and dad have a egg steamer that they love. And so um, we'll see if this is worth the $20 or not. Yep, this was $20, but it can do, as you can see, it's got, um, you can do, I think, about a dozen eggs or 14 eggs at a time. Woohoo! Um, and here's the back and all of the things that are included with it. I have not opened this box yet. All I've done is undo the tape. So I will um, show you what I think. All right. So here's here's the con here's the box. I'm not really good at this, guys. This is my first time doing it. Um, there's my instruction manual, the important things that you need to know um, about your rights arbitration. <laughs> Why is there an arbitration agreement in this box? Wow, dispute and arbitration. <laughs> that does not inspire confidence in me. That does not at all. Okay, there's the owner's manual. Um, and let's see, there's the safeguards. Do not use outdoor. Do not let power cord hang over the edge of a table. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Let's see. So it's got all of the parts and the general operating instructions. So if I want eggs, hard boiled eggs, five to seven eggs, hard boiled, I need four tablespoons of water. Um, it is not recommended to do seven to 14 eggs, soft or medium boiled, you can only do that many as hard boiled and for hard boiled, it takes 18 to 23 minutes. So I don't know how this is any easier to do, but apparently it uses a lot less water, so maybe that's a good thing. But I'm gonna put this over here, and we're gonna see what's inside. Um, as you can see, it's still in its nice plastic. And here's the measuring cup that you get, and it comes with an egg piercer. Apparently that's a thing. I didn't know that. I've I've been on this earth 40, almost 48 years and didn't know that you were supposed to pierce eggs. Um, and this is to make poached eggs. This is to make the omelet. These are both really small and mm, that's pretty good. Pretty good sturdy plastic. Uh, some people don't like cooking with plastic or cooking in microwaves, so if you're not into plastic, you're not gonna like this. Um, and then this is the rest of the unit. I'm gonna put that to the side. And in here we have the lid, which was really hard to get out. I'm assuming that these are steam holes. Um, and then there's tape on the sides. This is the extension ring. So this is so that you can do more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs at a time. So this is so you can do 14 eggs. And there we go. And I'm gonna take the tape off and there you go. So that is the entire thing. Now this is from Copper Chef, which Copper Chef is the one that makes all of those copper pans um, that are as seen on TV. And so I would expect that the inside of this or part of this would be like those pans, but as you can tell, it's really not. Um, yeah, it's not at all. It's just a metal thing and it's it's copper colored. So that's why it's from Copper Chef, apparently. Um, that's, that's kind of um, 
misleading to say the least because I thought for sure that this would have the kind of um, surface that my my pans have though my pans are a different brand than Copper Chef um, I expected the pan you know because the pans do have that same um, surface so yeah all right so let's see how to use this so using the proper amount of water during the cooking process is the key to perfect results the cup is clearly marked for soft medium and hard boiled eggs the reverse side has the measurement for omelets and poached eggs um, first pierce the bottom of the egg with a small hole then place the eggs with the puncture facing up afterward place the cap back on the measuring cup caution the pin is very sharp Use caution when puncturing the egg. Piercing the eggs prevents them from cracking and results in uniform cooking. Um, the easiest way to hard boil eggs is to blanch them in ice water to stop the cooking process. Then crack the shell by gently tapping on the countertop or sink. Rinse the egg with cold tap water while gently peeling the shell. Uh, before using the first time wash the components except the power base and the cord duh um and wash with a non-abrasive sponge or warm soapy and warm soapy water rinse the components with clean water and dry thoroughly um okay so i will do that off camera for you guys for seven or fewer soft medium or hard boiled eggs add water to the heating element pierce the egg bottoms with the pin located at the top of the measure at the bottom of the measuring cup place the eggs in the tray cover the and cover it okay so we're going to do more than seven eggs we're actually going to do ten um just because i want to see how it works with this ring thingy um okay so let me go ahead and um, wash these plastic components that are copper colored and I will be back all right I am back and I have everything washed and if you see here I've got a power strip plugged into my outlet because it's on the other side of my island and so I'm going to be using that to plug into and I have washed all of these plastic components um, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my eggs. I splurged this week and I bought organic for the first time ever. I don't know why, but I did. So I just wanted to see if they made any difference. So I'm going to go ahead and pierce these. This is so weird. I've never done this before. Um. I don't know how far down I'm supposed to go, but that's what I'm doing. Okay. Oof, that sounded awful. I don't like this. Ugh, never done this before. This is so weird. The only time ugh, that I've done this is when I was a kid and my grandma would pierce both ends of the egg and then we would blow out the yolk because what we would do is we would um, then clean them and paint them and use them for Easter decorations so that was always fun okay so I've got six eggs over here and I'm actually gonna do just um, two more all right that way we can stack them so um, Getting my instructions out. <clears throat> for five to seven eggs, you're going to use four tablespoons of water. For seven to 14 eggs, you're going to use 4.5 tablespoons of water. Which, hmm. So five to seven, you're going to use four. And seven to 14, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, here we go. So looking at this. I see on um, I don't know if you guys can see this or not 
but it does have some writing on it. This side says um, poached and omelet, um, and there's a line right there. And then this side shows your eggs and uh, for hard boiled and soft boiled and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to fill this up to the line that says seven to 14 hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna put that in here. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, so for seven to 14, add the water, pierce the egg bottoms, place the 14 eggs in the trays with the holes facing up. Place the trays in the unit separated by the extension ring. Put the lid on. Plug in the unit. And press the power button. Um, okay, nothing happened. I pressed it and there's a little light down here, um, which you guys can't see but there's a little light and it's not on. So let me try it again. Uh, oh, it would help if I turned my, <laughs> my thing on. Now the light is on, as you can see. So it says, turn it on and the unit will shut off once complete. So once it's complete, I'm gonna come back and I will show you um, how the eggs turned out. We'll see. All right, this has been about five minutes and as you can see it's getting all nice and steamy in there. Uh, we will see how it looks when it's done and how long it takes. So it's been about 15 minutes and I wanted to show you how the water is boiling up from the bottom and even though I pierced my um, eggs as you can see I've got one that's cracked one that has eggs spilling out of the top of it um, and then there's steam coming out of the top of here I don't know if you can see it or not but yeah so that's where we are it's been about 15 minutes it's still working hard and um, I am not inspired it is not inspiring confidence in me at this point, but we will see what ends up happening. All right, I'm back. And in the time it took to wash and dry my hair, reapply a little more makeup, um, the, the eggs got done. And uh, so I will go ahead and show you how they look. There was no beep or anything to tell me that they were done. I just, I heard actually a click and and then I came up here and they were done. So what I've done is I wanna see if there's a difference between cooking on the top rack or cooking on the bottom rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have actually, as per instructions, two bowls of ice water. This one's gonna be for the top rack, this one's gonna be for the bottom rack to see if anything has changed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let you know this is super super hot so be careful when you open it it's got a nice little pull tab so I'm gonna use that and there's a lot of steam coming out of there and I will show you that these are the two top rack eggs and as you can see even um, with the top rack eggs that this one did come up to the hole and this one came out of the hole a little bit. So it said to go ahead and put them in ice water. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I'm gonna pull this off and I will show you this ring. And this is the one that's more interesting because as you can see, it came out of the holes um, the only two that it didn't was these two and interestingly enough I think those were the first two that I did that I didn't pierce good enough So I would suggest not piercing your eggs as you can see this one is actually cracked through and I thought piercing was supposed to um, Stop that so I'm gonna go ahead 
and put those in there. And if you look really close, you can see that there's some egg in in the cups and in that area. Um, the one thing that I did want to show you though, which maybe eh, it's not too hot, um, is this. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of burnt part, and I suspect that that's from the eggs that drip down. Um, and so this would definitely have to be cleaned. So again, that's another reason why I'm kind of disappointed these aren't like the copper pans, because this is going to be kind of hard to clean. Um, and everything is just really, it's really warm, so I don't know. So what I'm gonna do now, since they've sat in this water for a minute, is I'm gonna do what they said, crack it on the countertop, and let's see what they look like. So this is the one that was on the top rack. This didn't have water boiling into it or anything like that. Um, and as far as the ease of peeling goes, they're not too bad. Um, I got these at Walmart a few days ago, so they aren't fresh from the store or anything like that, but there you go. So that's the egg, and I've got a cutter, a knife, as some people call them, and I'm going to go ahead and see how these look on the inside. So as you can see, these are well done. There's no green parts or burnt parts or anything like that. So I would say that the top rack is actually really, really good. I'm going to take one of these eggs that didn't spill over from the bottom rack and see what they look like. Um, oh, that, that peel comes off really nice and easy. As you can see, it just came off in like two pieces. And let's see how it looks. Uh, da, 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 da. It looks just as good as the top rack. Okay, awesome. My daughter's standing here. I think she wants some of my nice warm eggs. No? Okay. Now I'm going to take this one that was cracked to be <laughs> beyond. Um, it's got the egg coming out of the top and it has a crack running through it. Um, and let's see how that one looks. Again, it looks pretty good. Um, overall, I like how they're cooked. Yeah, it does look like a little bit of a heart, and I don't know why it did that, but that's kind of interesting. So, so it's kind of interesting that the non-pierced eggs actually did better than the pierced eggs, um, and but I really like how they all turned out. I think this is going to be a really good method next time. I'm not going to use, uh, or I'm not going to pierce them. I'm just going to cook them like, um, like instructed and, or without piercing them. And that's it. I'm going to have to clean this. I'm not really pleased about how this turned out. I think that looks terrible. And, um, I'm really disappointed in the fact that these are from Copper Chef and the only thing copper about them is the plastic. So that's my review. I was not, I bought these myself and um, this is my honest review of it. So I hope you guys have a good day.